The STA system allows you to perform the new STA interligamentary injection, which is significantly different than a traditional PDL performed with either a dental syringe or high pressure syringe. The traditional PDL delivers a low volume of anesthetic under high pressure. In contrast, the STA interligamentary injection can deliver a larger volume under minimal pressure and thus provides a comfortable injection with profound anesthesia and longer duration. The dynamic pressure sensing technology designed in the STA system allows you to have continuous real-time pressure sensing feedback during the injection. The STA system will assist you in finding the optimal injection site to place your needle by offering audio and visual confirmation. It will also maintain controlled pressures below the patient's pain threshold. Let's discuss how to begin. Injection Technique The Wand STA Intraligamentary PDL Injection Verify the wand system is set to the STA mode. This injection is performed using the 30-gauge half-inch bonded wand handpiece. When performing the wand STA intraligamentary injection on a multi-rooted mandibular molar, it is recommended that two sites be used. Always start the injection on the distal lingual root of the mandibular molar, followed by the mesial lingual root. The injection can be performed anywhere from the lingual line angle to the interproximal contact for each root of mandibular molars. For the maxillary molars, it is recommended that you initiate the injection from the distal buccal root followed by the mesial buccal root. The injection can be performed anywhere from the line angle to the interproximal contact area of this tooth. When performing the STA intraligamentary injection on a single rooted tooth, it is necessary to use only a single site when performing this injection. You may choose to inject in multiple sites on premolar or anterior teeth, as this is optional. It is important to have direct vision of the needle as it enters into the gingival sulcus. To improve the accessibility in difficult areas, shorten the wand handpiece by breaking off a section of the handle. It may also be necessary to bend the needle for proper needle placement. Bend the needle no more than 45 degrees. Bending the needle bevel toward the handpiece allows easier access to the distal root of the mandibular molars. The needle bevel should face the root surface during the needle entry into the sulcus. While holding the handpiece with a pen-like grasp, approach the tooth at about 45 degrees with the bevel towards the tooth. Place the needle very slowly into the gingival sulcus, as if it was a periodontal probe, while simultaneously initiating the control flow rate. The control flow rate is initiated by pressing the foot control. After three audible beeps, you'll hear the unit announce, cruise. Once you hear the word crew spoken, you may remove your foot and the wand system will continue the flow of anesthetic solution until you depress and release the foot control again to stop the flow. Advance the needle forward slowly into the sulcus, moving the needle gently down into the sulcus until you reach resistance. Maintain an approximately 45 degree angle while holding the needle in place with minor hand pressure. Do not use excessive hand force on the needle as this may block the flow of solution into the tissues. Carefully control and stabilize needle movements using the finger rest. Once you feel you're at the base of the sulcus, you'll need to minimize any movement for 10 to 15 seconds as the dynamic pressure sensing technology starts to analyze your position. The visual pressure sensing scale is comprised of a series of orange, yellow, and green LED lights. As the wand system senses pressure building, you will see sequential illumination of LED lights on the front of the unit. If after 20 to 30 seconds pressure does not build, you'll need to relocate the needle. The wand system also provides audible pressure feedback with a series of three ascending tones, indicating that the system is detecting the pressure at the needle tip. After 20 to 30 seconds with the needle located in the correct location, you will hear the wand system announce PDL, PDL. This will be followed by a series of two longer beeps indicating that the proper pressure is being maintained and that you have identified the correct needle position for that injection. Insert the needle on the mesial root of the molar. It may not be necessary to bend the needle to gain access on the mesial. Take care to insert the needle with the bevel facing the surface of the root. Slowly advance the needle into the sulcus until resistance is felt. This is achieved using a 45 degree angle. 
the wand system will, once again, begin to determine proper location by the dynamic pressure sensing. It is important to be aware that you may achieve success while in the high yellow zone. The high yellow LED zone indicates that you have high probability of being at the correct location to perform the STA intraligamentary injection. It is necessary to maintain at least the high yellow LED indicators throughout the injection process to achieve success. Note that you will not hear the audible spoken word PDL in a yellow zone. A successful STA intraligamentary injection can occur in either the high yellow or green LED zones as both are indicative of the correct location. To determine the amount of anesthetic solution dispensed, you can view the vertical green LED volume gauge in the upper left corner of the wand device. As the green LED light dims, you'll hear a corresponding louder tone at each quarter cartridge. When you have delivered the required dosage, you can remove the needle. To avoid anesthetic solution spray back into your patient's mouth, perform the following. While the needle is still embedded in the patient's tissues, depress and release the foot control pedal. Count three beeps after releasing the foot control and then totally remove the needle from within your patient's mouth. Direct the needle away from the patient as a small amount of anesthetic solution may still be present. Post-op complications. There are three primary reasons for post-operative discomfort from the PDL injection. These are, first, the PDL ligament tissues can be traumatized by mechanical injury from needle manipulations. It is important not to use excessive hand force in placing the needle into the PDL space. Wedging or forcing the needle into the PDL space can cause post-operative discomfort. The second general reason for post-operative discomfort may be as follows. It may be the result of delivering improper amount of anesthetic solution, resulting in excessive fluid volume in the area of the dental papilla or periodontal ligament causing tissue damage. The third general reason for postoperative discomfort may be related to the improper selection of dental anesthetic solution used while performing the intraligamentary PDL injection. Please refer to an appropriate reference source for guidance and recommendations pertaining to local anesthetic solutions and specific volumes for each injection. It is the sole responsibility of each practitioner to identify, select, and administer the proper drug and volume for a given patient. The following information serves as a suggestion not meant as definitive guidelines for any specific patient. The suggested drug and volume for performing the wand STA intraligamentary injection is 2% xylocaine HCL, 1 1,000th epinephrine, and a drug volume of one half cartridge or 0.9 milliliter is suggested for a single rooted tooth. For a multi-rooted tooth, one half cartridge or 0.9 milliliter anesthetic for each of the mesial and distal roots may be administered for a total of 1.8 milliliters for a multi-rooted tooth. If you would like to use a 4% concentrated local anesthetic drug, such as 4% articane HCL, use half the dosage previously suggested and use caution when using these medications. Please refer to an appropriate textbook reference source for guidance and recommendations pertaining to local anesthetic solutions and specific volumes. It is important to realize that the STA intraligamentary PDL injection can now be used as your primary injection instead of the mandibular block injection when treating single teeth in the mandible. The PDL with the STA system is more predictable than performing the mandibular block injection. It has the following benefits for you and your patients. First, it saves you time by giving instant onset of anesthesia. You no longer have to wait five to 10 minutes to find out if your block injection was successful or not. Secondly, it allows you to do bilateral dentistry in a single appointment. You no longer have to make your patients come back for a second time if they need treatment in both lower quadrants. And lastly, it eliminates collateral numbness of the lip, face, and tongue, and it does all this painlessly. The STA system will make your practice more efficient and more productive. The STA intraligamentary injection is virtually painless and is ideal for single tooth anesthesia in either the maxillary or mandibular arch, providing profound anesthesia without collateral anesthesia to the face, lips, or tongue for procedures of less than one hour.